And I'll never forget one of my first interviews I did with him. I talked about changing the culture, but I meant it in the locker room. And he said, no, the organization from top to bottom changes the culture. It's not those kind of, that's not who they are, but they do so many other things to help winning. Strong drive by Leonard. He saw the... And hopefully Rondo can autograph it for him. But Brian, I am very impressed in what good condition the card is in still. Through injuries, got in there. And at one point in time during the course of three games, made 13 consecutive threes. George bounces into Howard, a whistle and a foul. But he was very helpful for the Lakers in their title run. As he makes good on the first of two. I thought the Lakers would miss the length that both Howard and JaVale McGee were able to provide. They've overcome it. Frank Vogel is terrific. Hill actually had right thumb surgery on February 2nd. At the time, it was announced that he would miss approximately four weeks. Obviously, it's been a lot longer since. Thibel back the other way. Howard maybe got away with a walk. Deflected, recovered, stolen by George. Here come the Clippers. He probably saved four or five balls that were going out of bounds, threw them back into their teammates so they could get another shot attempt. Kennard inside, flirts with the defense of Howard. Howard does not contest. Kennard misses nevertheless. The first foul on Zoo. Sixers by three. Milton, foul line jumper, it's good. Milton puts the Sixers by five, 39-34. Creating a whole lot of spaces. Milton, uh, the Lou Williams of the 76ers right now in Doc's scheme of things. The ball gets knocked loose, but he still grabs it and finishes. Those long strides that he takes around in the paint. Oh, how about a block by Zoo? Man, leaks out to the rim and lays it in. Effort there from Mars, just unable to get rewarded. Sixers fortunate. Harris, a burst to the hoop, but unfinished business. There's Howard keeping it alive. And ultimately, you see 53% from the foul line. It's never been his forte and never been a poll that I have taken over my time in the NBA. The number one restaurant of choice for all professional athletes. The timeline, really, for Rondo to join the team, although that's just a, probably a matter of getting a couple of practices and the playbook under his belt. And then you see two agitators. And, you know, it's funny, Zar, Red Arbach once told me one of the final games for the Clippers at Staples Center before the shutdown. Clippers by 10, Batum fouled by Howard. A whistle stops the clock midway through this third quarter. It's going to be the 22nd and 23rd free throws of the quarter. Those are the most wins in the league when trailing by 10 in the second half. So. Clippers cannot get comfortable here. Howard misses both free throws, empty possession for the Sixers. And I'm not criticizing the officials there. Milton, the floater not there. Howard, big rebound. Clever pass by Simmons. Scott for the three. Man with the rebound. Batum for three. Straight but strong. As Howard is at the line for the Sixers and knocks down the first of two. <laughs> He's been around for a few years. Who's going to wind up? Terrence Mann just continues to wow. There have been several bright spots for the Clippers. Howard makes a pair of free throws. Paul George brings it across. Clippers could go two for one. They're going to have to get it up awful quick. George does just that, the three offline. Double-digit comebacks in the second half. That leads the NBA. Far from over here at Staples Center. Tyrese Maxey getting his first appearance. But again, this one far from over. Clippers lead by 10. George tries to pocket pass inside to Zoo, intercepted by the Sixers. George tries to pocket pass inside to Zoo, intercepted by the Sixers, and back they come. Thibel feeling good into the paint. No, Howard doing a great job on the glass for the Sixers, misses inside. He was certainly that in Orlando. When they adapt to the way that their career is going in Philadelphia, as he was last year for the Lakers. What I'm watching is to see if Zoo can get back involved in the game again. He sat an awful long time. When he picked up personal foul number four. Maxi, full steam ahead. They lob it inside to Howard. Climbs the back of Zoo. A whistle and a foul. 
Maxi full steam ahead. They lob it inside to Howard. Climbs the back of Zua. Whistle and a foul. Fourth foul on Howard. Clippers trying to catch the Sixers napping. Man hangs inside. He has hit all eight of his shots here tonight. And then ejected shortly thereafter. And now back-to-back -back games ejected for Philadelphia.